Hypothermia is most often viewed as a negative, something that can happen to someone who falls through ice or some other chilled waters, for example. But in a medical setting, hypothermia can be used to save lives. NJN News health and medical correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler tells us the story of a Jersey City man who owes his life to therapeutic hypothermia. Okay, Pop. That Lorenzo Rivera is alive and suffering no cognitive impairment is nothing short of a miracle. It's been 12 days since the 64-year-old Jersey City man collapsed after suffering a massive heart attack. His son Lorenzo Jr. saw it happen. He wasn't, he wasn't breathing right. He was having a hard time breathing. He was struggling to breathe. Rivera was rushed to Jersey City Medical Center where doctors saved his brain function and his life using therapeutic hypothermia. It lowers the core body temperature to 91 degrees using a sodium chloride solution delivered by a portable machine that's on standby in the emergency room. The concept is that we're trying to reduce the metabolism of the brain. So we do this by reducing the temperature. The machine will regulate the temperature of the water going in and out of the patient by using this cooling coil. Dr. Michael Bissett, who chairs the emergency department here, says this machine arrived in March and has been used so far on just five heart attack patients. Why was Lorenzo the right candidate? He had a couple of things going for him. One, he had a witnessed event. Two, he was resuscitated quickly and with the use of an electrical shock, which lets us know that he had a certain type of event. And three, he arrived still in coma. Other inclusion criteria for using this cooling method, a downtime of less than 30 minutes, no bleeding problem, no sign of stroke, and no previous cardiac history. How do you feel now? I feel good now. Yeah. You're pretty lucky to be alive, I think. Yeah, yeah. 150 over 73 blood pressure. It's pretty good. Okay? Mm -hmm. Rivera will likely need a defibrillator as well as stents to keep two of his heart arteries open. But his son is confident about his dad's future. It's a little, you know, road to recovery, but, you know, and then he can enjoy his retirement. You gotta watch your, you know, your diet. Mm -hmm. You gotta make sure you eat good food now, mm -hmm. you know, for your heart. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, Jersey City.